summer is coming. That means SPF season. You should wear it year round, but more so in the summer when those rays are stronger and we are out in the sun a little bit more. Today, I have my two favorites on this side and this side. I'm going to show you all my favorites, my top five today only. Stay put because these are tried and true and work well under Saint makeup. I've even worn them for 10 hours under Saint. I've worn them for months. They work. I'm glad you're here. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle Spieler, an over 25 year professional makeup artist. I come from the Hollywood industry. I know a thing or two about makeup. More importantly, I'm 55 and I really understand mature skin. And I know some of you who are 10 years older than me are like, oh honey, you wait, you just wait. Cause I told that to women in their forties, just you wait until you're 55. You wait until you go through menopause. So I understand that we are all at very different um, stages of maturity, but here we are, right? We're all in the same big boat together and it's a great option, right? It's, it's much better than the alternative and that's not being alive. So I acknowledge that. I'm also the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of over 20 videos on mature techniques. You can always find that link in any title. You just hit the title of whatever the video is on YouTube and it drops down a menu and you will always see all my links in there. Okay. Also, if you are new to Saint and Demi and you want a free color match, I always have a free color match tab in my description as well. Okay. Always reach out for a free color match. It's free. It's free. And if you're tied to another artist, um, I'm never trying to, to poach business. Like I want you to stay with your artist, but you can always use my party link. If your artist maybe isn't that familiar with Demi, um, Demi is my, it's, it's my bread and butter. I love Demi. It's my favorite thing. And so I'm happy to color match you just for Demi. You can always use my party link, but it does require you using a different browser. So if you are used to using Safari because you have an Apple iPhone, or if you're used to using Google Chrome, I ask you use a totally different browser like a Firefox, use my party link and Saint will no longer recognize you as who you are. They'll think you're a brand new customer, okay? Let's get started. Summer's approaching, okay? It's early May. Um, I'm going to the beach at the end of the month. I'm actually taking an entire week off from doing any type of content to just be really present with my family. We have a beach condo. And so I'm already thinking ahead of SPF. And the the one thing I think a lot of women have trouble with with Saint is how to layer it, what skincare to use, what primer to use. So next week, I'm gonna do an entire video on how to make Saint longer wearing because some of you say I love it so much but halfway through the day I feel like it's wearing off I got you I got you we're gonna we're gonna discuss some tips and tricks to keeping it on longer okay and what I did in San Antonio because I'd put it on early in the morning and then when we would have a big gala event at night I barely had to touch up it just it still looked beautiful so I'll tell you my tips and tricks but today we're gonna talk SPF now I'm gonna tell you my two favorites but I'm gonna share some others that are tried and true, that work great under Saint. They don't pill, they um, they don't change the color, they lay really nicely, okay? So the number one, my number one, ooh, this is so pretty. This is Naturium Dew Glow SPF 50. I don't recommend this for oily women unless you really wanna look like a glazed donut because this is a very glazed donut look. And I'm gonna do this on this half of my face. Now on this half of my face, do you see a little bit more glow? I have moisturizer here because I'm using an entirely different um, sunscreen. But this Dew Glow is a moisturizer SPF 50. I don't need moisturizer under it. I'm normal to dry. If you are very dry, if you are post-menopausal, very dry, lots of dry patches, you could definitely do a moisturizer under this, but I do not need a moisturizer under it. And remember, we are gonna do a full finger length for half our face because you need two fingers for your face and neck, okay? If you're not using that much, you're not using enough. And it means you're not truly protected okay so we're gonna just do half the face and i have worn this 
for weeks and weeks, maybe months. It is my favorite SPF of the moment. I change all the time. You know, I could come back in July and have some new favorites for you. But I love this one. Now, this one was gifted to me. So if you see sponsored today, they I have to disclose if something has been gifted to me. Naturium did gift this to me. However, I went on to their Amazon store and last week I ordered a new one. And just this morning, I'm like, wait, I don't think I opened an Amazon package. So this is either on the way or back ordered, but I did order this. This retails for $19, no, 22, this is $22. And it is 1.7 ounces. Like I said, I've used it for months, but look at that. Look at that. And some days I just use this in my Lashify lashes and I feel so cute. So you can see like this side's more of a dull glow and this is like glazed donut, okay? So I love this. It wears beautifully under Saint. And this is one of the ones I took to San Antonio. It was gorgeous. I wore it from, you know, morning till night. Now, if I have to go out, let's say I have to go... um on errands or I take a walk later in the day. Hold please. You need a spray, okay? You want to do, Where? what's going on here? Oh, it's sealed. You wanna spray. I have a spray by Pacifica. It's okay, I use it more on, um, when I do TV and film and the actors have been out in the sun for a long time. I'll go up and I'll maybe spritz them with the Pacifica. Doggone it, this is not gonna. But I also love Super Goop makes something. Super Goop makes a setting, uh, not a setting spray, um, an SPF spray. Okay, well I can't get this off, but this is the Hydrating Glow Mist SPF 50. So you always wanna reapply, okay? Halfway through the day. Now if you're in an office all day and not near a window or like me, I'm at home all day. I don't have to reapply. But if I'm gonna go on a walk later with my daughter or I'm gonna be running errands and I know that setting sun is gonna really hit me, I'll use it. Okay, now on this side is the Naked Sundays Mineral. This is the Collagen Glow 100% Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50, plant-based. This is phenomenal. They sent this to me and one day I was going on a walk and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna throw this on real quick. Holy moly, this is my new outdoor SPF. I will be taking this to the beach. I'll probably have to order a new one because you can see I've already put a dent in it, but I am absolutely in love with this SPF. And we're gonna put it on this side. One of the reasons I like it, it looks slightly tinted, but it's not really tinted. One of the reasons I really like this mineral is it kind of like floods my skin and it makes my skin look much better than it does. And that's, you know, due to the titanium dioxide. But I love it. Now I always, I wore this this morning. I took a 30 minute walk listen to a nice podcast and I definitely wear this when I go outside and I'm definitely going to wear it to the beach but do you see how it just kind of smooths you out more like here you can see a little bit more discoloration and sunspots and this because of the 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 white the zinc and the titanium dioxide it just to me oh I didn't even get any on Ooh. That's good. I'll do a little on the neck. And then when I'm outdoors, I always do the back of the hands and I do the decollete too. But look at that. Do you see my neck? Look at this. Looks just more like skin. And this one with that little bit of white cast. So if you're deeper skin, you're going to see that white cast for a little bit. But, you know, it disappears once you put makeup on. Okay. So those are my two favorite. I've worn them both under Saint. They both perform beautifully. Um, and then I think this is a hybrid. This is a chemical mineral. And then this is 100% mineral. Okay. Now, 
I always wait a few minutes before I put my makeup on. You have to let that SPF set or else your makeup's not gonna go on nice. So let's talk about one of my tried and true for the past year. This is the beauty of Josin. It is Korean. You can get it on Yes Style or Stylevana. I've worked with both those companies and I love it. You can sometimes get it on Amazon. It's about 20 bucks. Oh, by the way, this is 34. The beauty of Josin feels like skincare and not SPF. It's it's SPF 50 by the way. If you and it's it's called Rice Probiotic. Yeah, it's called the Rice Probiotic SPF 50. Beauty of Josen. It's been tested by third-party companies that have tested it and sure enough it is an SPF 50. Hard to believe because when it goes into the skin, it doesn't feel like sunscreen. And that's what I used almost all last summer. Now, it doesn't stay glowy the way Naturium does. So I would say it's kind of in between these two. But I absolutely love this. Now, I keep this in my purse. When I'm driving, this goes on my hands. If I have a full face of makeup on and I, didn't, I don't have a spray with me, I will take this. I will pat it on my hands and I will pat it over my makeup and just let it sit and absorb in. And I'm telling you, it does not mess up the makeup. It's amazing. And it feels like skincare. So I always have Beauty of Josin in my purse. I love it. Now, if you also really love the mineral sunscreens, this is Squalane and Zinc. And this is Biosance. And this is Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. This is Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. This is about $30. This is about $20. Um, the Biosense, yeah, I think it's about $29, $30, but I want you to see this because it is a sheer mineral as opposed to this Naked Sundays, which now you can see my neck's still a little white, but you can see that white cast is gone, but I want you to see the Biosense. Look at that. Sheer mineral. So you're not going to get that white cast if you have deeper skin, Okay. Finally, I'm going to talk about another one that I really, really like. I don't know why it didn't make my top two, probably because I'm just so in love with this glow, but I'm so in love for, with this when I'm actually out in the sun. But this is so good. This is Crave Beauty, Beat the Sun. This is an SPF 40 and it's lightweight and it is a broad spectrum, okay? It has some hyaluronic acid. It has beetroot. It has vitamin E. This stuff is so good. Shake it up. And this, I'm going to tell you about this real quick. This was going kind of viral on TikTok. They sent this to me. Everyone's, I bought this with my own money. I bought Baby Josen with my own money. These were sent to me in PR, but I've just recently bought that with my own money again. And this was in PR. This went viral on TikTok. My friend Alex is a cosmetic chemist. She's young. She's worked for big brands, small brands, and she and her business partner created their own skincare company called Educated Mess. And it's really nice. I'll talk about it someday. But you can find Alex Educated Mess on Instagram and TikTok. She is such a wealth of knowledge. She will come on and go, see this La Mer for $150 or $200. Let's break down the ingredients. Oh, look at this product. This is only 30, same ingredients, minus one. And this is, you know, and she does that. Or she'll say, um, oh, see this? Here's a dupe, same ingredient. She's great. She's such a wealth of knowledge. This is her favorite sunscreen. She just did March Madness with sunscreens. It was so fun to watch. She did about 30 sunscreen and this was her winner. And I can see why, because again, it is so sheer. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you on my sun damaged arm here. So it has a little bit more of a thin nozzle and it's kind of runny but it has the best finish. See, I love it. Crave Beauty is only $20 and this is 1.7. Yeah, and 
it's really nice and it does work well under saint all of these work well under saint that's why i'm talking about them today and um alex is younger she's only in her i think late 20s maybe early 30s and she has sometimes acne and she has a more oily skin and she loves this so this is not just for mature skin she loves this too okay so i gave you five solid sunscreens now in comments you can tell me what you love under your saint because we can all benefit from that but there are so many more that I could get to so many. I mean, even behind me on all these spindles, so many sunscreens. I love Elta MD. I like Super Goop sometimes. Sometimes they have too much silicone. I love La Roche Posay. I love Aven from France. I just got some new Shiseido um, SPF. I just got Tatcha SPF. So I'll come back in a couple of months and I'll do an updated SPF review, but these five are so good and so solid. Okay. So real quick, now that it's absorbed, right now that it's in there, let's do a little makeup. Let's do a little makeup. I'm going to put the rush brush roll right in my lap. I need a little diet Dr. Pepper. I'm not going to do my whole face today because, you know, my whole YouTube is full of saint education. Sorry for, can you hear the gardener outside? He's not my gardener. My gardener comes Thursdays. Um, this is the new color Athens. It is so beautiful. It's deeper then candlelit, it's lighter than Sandy, who is Athens for, I would say, women who are light or light to medium. I think if you're medium, if you're medium and you have some deeper chest, like if you have kind of a ruddy chest, maybe some sun damage, it's, don't feel bad about it when I say that, I'm, we all are in that same boat, but um, Sandy might be best for you. Or maybe you could do Sandy, you know, down through your middle, but you could do a little bit of Athens, you know, on your jawline. Sometimes we're lighter here, down the center of the nose here. So when I give you a color match, I might say, hey, you want this main color for lighter areas of your face and this color for deeper areas of your face. And women are like, what does that mean? What I mean by deeper areas are areas that have more color sun damage pores texture so look do you see how the the center of my nose is lighter than the sides of my face right and my jawline is lighter than my cheeks so that's what i mean but honestly you can if you have the right color you only need one color you don't need all the colors you really only need one color in my humble opinion. I know a lot of saint artists would disagree with that, but that is my opinion. You only need one. Most women only need one color. Some women, you need more. That's okay. That's why you need a color match because it's very individual and it's very customizable. Okay. And then I feel like that looks great. Let me look at that close up to make sure. Holy moly. This Athens is so pretty. I'm so glad we just came out with that because it is definitely my favorite color we've ever made. Look at that. It's perfect. You know, and then you can kind of see a little bit of sun damage on my chest. It's worse in person, trust me. And then, you know, you know what's next. Bella, you knew. I love Bella. I do two together because it's a fat brush. You don't have to. I only started doing that trick maybe, I don't know, three, four months ago for a year. I just squeezed my brush into the Bella. But I love the Bella. It's so pretty. I do the top of the forehead because I have a five head. I do the nose because think of where you... Think of when you go into the sun, where do you get color? Tops of the cheeks, 
nose. We're going light today. I have a I have three zooms today. Holy moly, three zooms. Okay, and then because my neck is light, I really like a little bit of bronzer on the neck, especially cream bronzer because it looks like skin. It doesn't look like I have a dry powdery neck. And then now it just cuts a little bit. I'm not, I'm not making my neck dark, but it just cuts a little bit of that pasty. And then you know what else I'm going to do? You already know. You already know. Yep, Michelle's going to go in with bronzer on the eyes. Bella, Bella, Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. I love Bella. I started with tan lines. Tan lines isn't bad if you're lighter, if you're real fair, and you just want a tiny bit of bronzer. You could definitely do tan lines. I just find tan lines is a little bit more orange, a little more yellowy orange, whereas the Bella to me is true bronzer. True bronzer. I love Bella. My favorite, favorite bronzer on the planet. I also love Mob Beauty. And I love Makeup by Mario's Skin Enhancer. He does not call it a bronzer. He calls it a skin enhancer, but it's a bronzer. Let's not kid ourselves. Isn't that great? And then I like a little bit, like a little bit of bronzer on my nose. Do you all want a contour video soon? Do you need a contour video? We could do a contour video. I just, you know, I'm not a huge fan of contouring over the age of like 45 because our face is already hollowing out. But some women love it. And some women do need it. Just some, not everyone. Most of us don't need it. But I do like to do my nose for camera. But remember, we're the close-up club. So whatever I do on camera has to also look good in person. So I never want to see a stripe. So I just always have to make sure that that's nice and blended. Because I don't do social media makeup. Okay? All right. Oh, gosh, is that so pretty? I love it. And I think... I don't know, I'll think about a blush. I'm gonna come back in one minute for the final look, but here we are with just Athens and bronzer over my two favorite SPF. I don't know, do you think one of these are for you? I could put both of them in my Shop My. I could do my Shop My links, but I don't care if you just go get it from the brand or go get it from Amazon. I really do the links kind of just to make it more convenient for you. Sometimes I earn a little bit of money off of it. Um, but you know, my real income is Saint. So I don't try to make money off of all the other things. My real income is Saint. But um, I always have links to make it easier for all of you. And I do make a tiny commission on Amazon. And I'm talking pennies. They're so cheap, but that's okay. And then ShopMy is usually a, a more generous um, commission, but again, you can go there or not. I just provide it to, to make it easier for you. Okay. I'll be back. I'm going to go blow dry my hair. All right. My husband's home and he's making a smoothie downstairs. So if you hear a noise, that's what it is. But I just blow dried my hair. I answered some emails. I got back to some people on Instagram. So it's been about an hour. Again, this is just Athens with uh, Bella. I'm not wearing blush right now because I'm doing a whole Met Gala look um, today after some of my zooms. But you can see this side is more glazed and this side still has a nice glow because Saint has a glow, but it's not so much that the sunscreen has a glow. The glow is more from Saint and probably, you know, just skincare. And probably the fact that I just got dermaplaned on Friday. I highly recommend dermaplaning. Okay. So there you have it. Here's my two sides. But you saw all my others. I love. All right. I hope that helps. Let me know what sunscreen you love in comments. These are my top five as of right now. You know, May 2023. It can change. Uh, also, 
come back Saturday, I am finally going to talk about my three month update after plastic surgery, all the things to expect, pros and cons. Um, I just haven't wanted to do it because it's a lot, but you know what? I'm just going to do it. I might leave stuff out and that's okay. I'm just going to, I'm not going to script it. I might do a few bullet points because of certain things I don't want to forget, but I do think it's going to help some women. And there are so many women who come to me after their um, facelift and say, wow, you prepared me for this. So if I can prepare someone for the 12 weeks after, it's it's worth it. it. It's There's a lot of psychology that plays into it. So anyways, subscribe if you are here for mature beauty content. I will see you back here on Saturday and next week, next Wednesday, I will do how to keep saint long wearing. Bye for now.